it's more than just a road with potholes, right? Because um, with my health condition, uh, uh, with the muscle myopathy and so on, it's very difficult to use a road that is so bumpy and so demanding upon the um, the body actually so it re it it really um it's causing me to prepare i need to prepare i have to make sure that my activities activities that i'm going to do before i do on car on a say a trip with a car um, i have to really structure plan everything um rest sleep which is mostly sleeping um, so i have sufficient energy and you know the body can deal with the impact and then i have to trip and I have to calculate that into my energy output of that day too and then when i come back i need to recover uh, i'm here since 2020 and when I arrived here, it was actually my health condition was more, it was less, my mobility was less, right? So uh, I needed to really sleep in the car because it was very too much for my, um, my spine muscles really to uh, sit up in the car and with all the bumps. And I had quite a lot of medical and health appointments, which were actually at the uh, South Coast. Uh, so that's like a half an hour, 45 minutes. And sometimes I had to increase my medication um, just to actually really dealing with, uh, just to deal with the road. Drivers that are sometimes cursing at me or they are very upset that I'm driving in the middle of the road, um, not understanding that I'm trying to avoid the potholes um, and also Sometimes the road is so not even, just uneven, that it actually really uh, push the wheelchairs towards the gutter. So I have to really um, use the whole road really for me to just uh, properly drive. Somebody mentioned um, something and I thought it actually quite interesting. And it was like uh, the sables are like um, um, an unfinished thought. And what a person tried to say with that, and I totally understand it, is that, you know, if I also look to my experiences, you go up to the pavement and you drive a long way on the pavement to find out that you can't get off at the other side of the pavement. So it's like, yes, good thought. I can go up <laughs> one side, but the other side I can't go down. Um, there is... Uh, unfortunately some facilities that just don't have enough rooms to maneuver um, or um, restrooms you know we can talk about uh, restaurants um, um, medical facilities and also like for example um, I went to the uh, the government building from Ministry of Transportation and I was not able to get up I was not able to get in. So I had to wait outside to see if somebody was able to um, accommodate. To, and, and unfortunately, I was not able to personally hand over the, the letters. Um, but I had to wait outside because there was no way that I could go around with a wheelchair. And that was outside. And there was no way that I could go upstairs to the office. 